Okay, so this problem is, is, is extremely easy, but uh, it's like a trap. Uh, so what you don't want to do is you don't want to multiply negative 10 times negative 10. That's wrong. Uh, why? Well, there's actually a, a, a statement. Uh, you can prove this. It says that if you have the square root of AB, this is equal to the square root of A times the square root of B, as long as at least at least one of a b is non-negative uh, so what does that mean that basically means that if these are both negative you can't multiply at least one of them has to be positive or zero so what people usually do um, is they first write it in terms of i so whenever you're multiplying complex numbers as a general rule first write in terms of i, so get rid of all the negative signs you have uh, under these under these square roots. So the first piece is just going to be i square root 10, right? And then the second piece is i square root 10. So then you end up with i squared, and then 10 times 10 is 100, so you get the square root of 100, right? Uh, so i squared is negative 1, and the square root of 100 is 10, so you just get uh, negative 10. And that's the correct answer. Uh, here's, here's the wrong way to do it. Uh, this is the wrong way. So the wrong way is to say the square root of negative 10 times the square root of negative 10 is the square root of 100, which is 10. This is, this is super wrong. So this is super, super wrong. So, so don't do that. So as a general rule, whenever you have uh, negative signs in your square roots, always get rid of them by re by doing this right they they turn into eyes that's the way to go and that way you won't get it wrong